Hey guys, I'm Mason here with Black Star Strengths, and I'm going to do a review of the Warrior Void Light. Um, I strung it up with 12 Diamond Jumlax Hard Mesh. Yeah, let's see. Um, I've used this a couple times at a goalie camp, other than that, not at all. I have it on a brine 7075. This is just a regular attack shaft. Um, I'm hoping to get a goalie shaft. So, yeah. I can't tell if you. The channel's still being broken and it's coming out well. If you put the ball in, it just stays right there. Right where I have it. Just boom. You can do whatever. Do a face dodge, still right there. Cradling, it's nice because you've made the big save. You gotta deke someone right on your crease. It's perfect. Yeah, that's probably the um. A lot of people say they don't like the warrior voids at all. Um, I kind of like. I love them actually. They're a little wide, so. String them's tough, but string them right, it's great. Um, I have had an STX Eclipse before. I've used a barricade. I've also used the normal, um, just the regular void, not the void light. Um, so yeah. Um, it's great. It's super light. I mean, let's see. A little head heavy if you put it, put it right here, but that's not bad. The shaft is super light, so yeah. It, the head is definitely lighter than some of the brine ones. Um, if you're looking to get a new head, I recommend this or the Nemesis. The Nemesis seem really good. Um, it's big, so it helps. It's about the tops, about the same size as the Eclipse. What makes it so big is right here. The eclipse kind of goes up more here. While this goes up more circular, it's more of a circle. It's not quite as wide as the Maverick base. Um, it's got a little flare to it, not as much as the Nemesis does. It's definitely nice. It helps those bounce shots to just cover up as much area. I don't know if you can see this, but like. For bounce shots, when you gotta get your stick down there, and the ball could easily bounce over the corners, it just helps. So you can, you don't have to bend your knees, and some of these heads are like a hockey goalie almost. Here, you just have to give them a little bend, and it's got. Right and look at that. That's like. Cause here's my stance. To that, you can even just bring in one knee. It's nice. Um, yeah. So it's the Warrior Void light. Um, pounding in on a better channel right now. Let's see if you can see how it's about two, two and a half balls, maybe three balls deep. A nice um. So yeah, I can string goalie heads too if you're look if you're a goalie. No, some places aren't friendly with that because goalie heads are harder to string compared to a player pocket. Player heads are very easy to string right and well. Um, yeah, the void is a really nice head. Um, I can't see if you can see this, but it's kind of angled a little goes to here and then pops up, kind of like some player heads do. That helps when you're clearing. You gotta clear it far and do an attack man. You don't really have to crank like you do with some of the other heads. Um, I know a lot of goals my age have to go sidearm to get it to that midfield. I can easily do an overhand. Um, yeah. So that's a review. Um, of my head. So it's like a bullet, pretty much. It's a lot lighter with 
and the ball like doubles its weight pretty much yeah it's a good head recommended I would strung up with two V's um, I like my V's some people like them high so I prefer mine low to where they're on the head as you can see here it's my review of the V so don't forget to subscribe like us on Facebook and thanks for viewing this is my review of the Warrior Void. Um, oh, and also in the comments section below, I'm trying to decide if I want to dye this head or not. I think I'm going to dye the mesh maybe a circle here or a full color. Um, yeah. Um, we can also do custom orders, or I'm going to have three um, pre strung heads I'm going to be selling soon. So check my Facebook page for that. And yeah, I'm thinking about making a actual website soon. Thanks for watching. Um and yeah. And if you don't have a head but you want a head strong, just order. Just let me know what color mesh if you want a certain style of dye on a head. Solid color fades, marbles, hot glue method. And yeah, let me know if there's any specific diamonds you want. Otherwise it's gonna be just strong traditional. Goalie heads, 12 diamonds going to be the specification that I'm going to use unless you tell me you want 10 or 20 diamond or whatever. That's the ones I recommend most. And yep, I guess on Facebook.